about this new board? Yeah, actually this is uh, uh, a small board which is not based on a G4, it's based on a G2 uh, port using the uh, 5200 port. Uh, by using our abstraction layer we can uh, instantly run all the software which also runs on the desktop systems uh, on this type, a better type of device. Uh, that means we even can uh, uh, bring the power of PC uh, graphics, like we shown here, with uh, a standard graphic card uh, to the embedded world, allowing us to do uh, video playback on a on a normal uh, X uh, desktop with uh, this type of uh, embedded device without uh, the need of uh, changing any lines of code to a normal Linux kernel. That means it's an instant software development, getting some stuff like that up and running. Great. So, what's on the board? Um, actually, it's just a system on a chip, so it's a, a 5200. As mentioned earlier, we have uh, a 128 megabyte memory on it. We have the option for 256, that would be on the on the bottom side. So we have uh, 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 unpopulated memory over here. For normal applications like video playback, 128 should be enough. So, even for uh, uh, systems which does not uh, need graphic in a resolution like that, we can have uh, 64 or 32 megabyte of memory, even lowering the cost. That makes this an ideal, uh, ideal solution for some kind of point of sales <laughs> terminals, ATM machines, kiosk, or kiosks, like stuff that. like that. Yeah, maybe so pachinko machine. You even can have uh, small uh, gaming machines, or you can use that as. Uh, the intelligent part of your uh, TV set, so you can uh, do video streaming to that. So you have this device, you have a uh, LCD screen, you can put that anywhere in your house, you can uh, set up the network, and you have the perfect digital video system. And you could what, stream to that from a hub in the house? like uh, You would have uh, the uh, the home uh, home uh, theater system, we, we want the price. Uh, you can <laughs> use that as a streaming server, so you can have uh, multiple uh, displays. Uh, watching different channels, so we have two receivers, we right. home receiver, right. we can uh, do internet browsing, we can have a handheld version of that, that you just have a tablet PC carrying around, mm -hmm. and uh, of course uh, that's just an application of the board, mm -hmm. so we, mm -hmm. primary we use that as a development uh, system uh, to verify uh, the concepts of all these devices, which of course could be also done by the by the Freescale customers, just having a, a simple board uh, using standard PCI boards, using a standard power supply, hook up a PC keyboard and, and a, a graphic card, so and for instantly a, stuff. For I/O, what do we have? We got an Ethernet connector. Yeah, for Ethernet, uh, uh, 100 megabit. We have uh, two times USB. We have the serial port, primarily used to connect the terminal for debugging purposes. So, as uh, serial port is some kind of, of legacy stuff which will die in the, in, in the next uh, years. So at least for a development system it makes sense. <laughs> we have uh, audio, microphone, line in, line out. We have some internal connectors, uh, second microphone, headset. So this could go to a special headset stuff, making that an, an IP phone or stuff like that. So that, that easily can be combined with a TV set. So you can, can think about uh, the TV set is at the same moment, if it's operated out of that device, can be used as uh, a hub for your Bluetooth headset and makes your Bluetooth headset an IP phone, mm -hmm. which is pretty nice. So yeah, you sure. use your uh, cell phone Bluetooth headset and turn that into an IP phone while you are at home. That's, that's pretty nice. Okay, well that's a cool thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to make more of them, we're going to get some out to see people. We're going to try different API graphics cards in here and then we're going to make a really small board. It's actually not about only API, so as I mentioned before, yeah. it's, uh, uh, all standard PC graphic cards can be uh, bring up, uh, uh, brought up on the board and are running at least in the main buffer board. So, uh, as we learned about a closer link of NVIDIA uh, and Rescale uh, this show, there might be a great option for, for NVIDIA uh, to be the uh, uh, a first choice graphic developer for free skill boards on the embedded stuff. So we can set up a system which actually uses some NVIDIA libraries uh, that uh, enables all embedded free scale power PC devices to use NVIDIA graphic for display, video playback, stuff like that. Right. That would be a perfect setup. Right. Okay, that's great. Well, it looks like it's a great development. So, way to go to Thomas and Gerald. What, 